Let's kill this bastard. Let's chop him up with Braver. Let's chop. Uh oh. Oh wait, so scope. Okay, good, good. It's not going to do the tail thing yet. I should also be using um, ice or lightning. Alright, good. <clears throat> I'm waiting to see what he does. Yep. The big sting. Hmm. Do you want a potion? There you go, mate. Too easy. Oh. Get bolted. He's no longer erect. He can't hurt you anymore. You know what? There's probably an achievement like, you know, beat, beat this one with your fists or some shit. But, um... I don't know about it. I'll do it on like a different playthrough of this game. I can foresee me doing multiple playthroughs of this, so it's it's all fine. Ow! He's gotta be close. Hmm. I do hate Final Fantasy VII. Story is good. The main character is crap. I feel like um, I'm not invested in any of the characters per se. They are iconic. I mean, I thought Sephiroth was a bit like eh. A very Japanese sort of villain. But, um... I feel like, um, just on the whole, the experience of this game was just really good. I, I just thoroughly enjoyed the game. Does, uh... Yeah, I'll give you a potion. I'll give you one potion. Cloud was a whiny uh, brat. Sephiroth was boring. I, I, they, were, they were trying to build him up into some something else, and then um, I felt like the the end of Final Fantasy VII, the story was kind of rushed. I don't I don't know, but like the way that I um I view certain games, like I I think Final Fantasy IV was the best game ever made, but um. Like, I don't, I don't try to compare everything to my favorite game of all time. I feel like this has so many iconic scenes and moments. I just, I forgive it. It's, it's a really good game. Kefka was a very good villain. Kefka was, um, just, uh, evil. He was, uh, broken from all the, uh, the Magitek experimentation. And, um, yeah, he inflicted that onto the, the entire world. And even though you know you you won, ultimately Kefka won because he fucked the entire world. So he's a good villain. That was another game where the ending I thought was like, uh, really? That's why for me Final Fantasy IV was like my favorite all time. It just it it wasn't a time vampire, and it felt like a fairy tale, a, a fairy tale with a nice ending. So. This had a lot of good, I just couldn't stand Cloud. Yeah. Growing up, I thought that he was a bit of a whiny bitch. But in saying that, then they released Final Fantasy VIII with um, Squall, Lionheart. And Squall is in like another level of, um, of emo whiny. What I didn't like about what they did to Cloud though, 
they kind of I feel like they sabotaged him I, don't, I feel like his story didn't have to be the way it is but um he comes across almost like a pathetic um, sort of character at the end of it not not really that heroic at all like very damaged I guess that that's like a that's an interesting way to take the narrative I just like after you learn all the pathetic things that he does and it's hard to look at him as like oh you know the strong hero uh, or is amazing I 100% agree that's good otherwise you'd be banned no <laughs> um, I won't even watch it I that was the point where I kind of stopped playing Final Fantasy games I think I got to disc 3 of Final Fantasy 8 um, I just found it very hard to get through but I am now prepared at my you know ripe old age of 41 I'm I'm now prepared to revisit it because like um oh actually yeah Final Fantasy 9 kind of really turned me off um, Final Fantasy because I just thought oh what have they done to the characters that they're all deformed but I mean it's just an aesthetic choice yeah, I, I really I need to like give a lot of these um, Final Fantasy games another chance, another proper chance. Now that I'm more mature, so yeah, I won't even watch eight. He's so much done. He's um, so much better done. Boy, there we go. Let's go. He's so much better done in the Final Fantasy VII remake. I mean, he's still cloud at the end of the day though, so. Oops, I was meant to get a bit more dialogue from uh, Jesse. Oh well. Nine was differently done, but so good. Ten was on par with eight. T Ten had laughing Titus though, so. I actually, confession, I didn't touch Ten because, I think that was PlayStation Two. I want to say, or was that PlayStation Three? No, no, PlayStation Two. And in in those days, like I didn't have a PlayStation Two. And I couldn't, I couldn't afford the, the cost of the games as well, so. I did eventually play 10 for a little bit, but I, in my mind, I was like, well, I want to play the ones before. Come on, where's my Chivo? I blowed up the, uh, I blowed it up. I played, um, 12 as well for a little bit. Um, I thought that that was, um, awesome, but, um, never completed it. And I always felt that the story in 12 was a bit shit. The combat and the um, the hunt system I thought was pretty pretty neat. But um, yeah, ten had its moments. Can I do anything here right here? The support characters were good. Can I get up the stairs, please? In the story was nifty, but I dislike Titus. Yeah. June 25th, Loveless. Lol. Move, bitch. Get out of the way. I think from the opening um, cinematic, what happened? Nothing. Hey. Listen. Hello, kitten. Hello, kitten. Don't see many flowers around here, kitten. I'll buy a flower from you, kitten. Maybe... Maybe you and me could go for some drinks later tonight, kitten. Don't walk away from me, kitten. <laughs> She's running away. Um, ten had moments, the support characters were good, and the story was nifty, but... Oh, sorry. I'm rereading the same thing. Now, I believe that this area here, to the left, like, in the opening cinematic, it said, like, what... 625 you know june 25th loveless so loveless the play was playing but on the right side i i caught a a neon sign that said goblin bar that'd be interesting imagine going to the goblin bar goblin that dick um can i talk to you no can't talk to you can i talk to you Psst, can't talk to you is it johnny 
I think that that's Johnny, isn't it? Yep. Good old Loveless, Crisis Core. I actually... Nah. <laughs> I tried watching a, um, a full Let's Play of that on YouTube, and I got to the three hour mark, and I said, fuck this game. I do not like Genesis. I... no. And I don't like Angeal. And I don't really like what they even did with Yuffie. I mean, it's fan service for people that played this game and really like the characters. I mean, I get it. I mean, we had bloody, like, weren't there two Final Fantasy VII movies? We had, um, characters, like, appear in the different Square franchises. Um, like, this is a, a titan amongst video games. Let's, let's not, you know. Let's not get it twisted. Yeah, I'll fight these soldiers. The thing is, I, I don't think I should be raising my level too high because I want to do a bit, little bit of um, level break grinding. But I'll do this one. Give him the little chop. The chop. The fanfare music in this game, though. It's legit. And I always adored the character portraits. I might not have liked the characters, but the art. Oh my god. It was a, an RPG where it was a pleasure to grind. I'll drop a save probably soon because maybe you're meant to fight them to get an achievement I don't know who are my favorite characters in this game Look, I'm, I'm not even going to front, like, Yuffie was probably my favourite character. Other characters though, that I liked, hmm. Hmm. I didn't like Sid. I like him now, but I didn't, didn't like him before. I thought he was in, like an absolute bastard. And he, he is. He is a bastard. Like, yes, his, um, assistant, like, ruined the dream. I get it. But you don't, you don't punish a person for a, a lifetime. You, no. No, that, that's, that's kind of fucked. So I, I didn't like that aspect of his character, but... Like, Barrett's okay as a character. Tifa is an interesting character. Vincent was meh. Hmm, I'm trying to think of the other characters. I mean, obviously Eris was alright, but she she got she got iced pretty early. I hated all the Yuffie shipping because she was 16. Exactly. Now the the only reason why I liked Yuffie the way I did was because when I played this game. I would have been 15 or going on 16, so it was okay. Now it's not so okay. She's still one of my favorite characters because, like, she steals all the materia. And also, like, she was trying to help um, Wu Tai. She was trying to help her home country from becoming, like, this tourist trap. And Wu Tai being, you know, basically like a, a metaphor for Japan. And I thought, you know, that's pretty cool. I can get it, you know, I can get on board with that. So Yuffie is still probably my favorite character. There weren't many other characters in the game, were there? Okay, so Sid, so let's just go from the top. Um, she was the first character that had well character. I believe so too. Um, 
This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Um, Cat Seath. Yep. That was an interesting character. Um, I didn't think much of like the character. I thought I thought it was just a weird character. Red, Red X. Yeah, Red X is probably my second favorite. Nanaki. Yeah, Nanaki is like fucking. He's the homie. Wait a second, if I keep talking to this dude, doesn't he give me something? Um, I think he gives me something later in the, um, the train scene here. Good concept, bad execution on Kate Sith. Yep, yep. I 100% agree. Talking like a damn kid. Um... I would still say, like, Aerith is my third or fourth favorite character. Um, and I have to put Cloud at four, I would say. Just because, like, you, you play him so much, and for all his flaws, he's, like, the iconic Final Fantasy VII character. Bar none. When you think of Final Fantasy VII, you think of Cloud Strife. And, and the Buster Sword. What do you have in mind, Wedge? Hmm. Dreams are good. I think it's why I like the Turks so much. They had character, yep. Like, um... What was it? Re uh, Reno? Um... Seng? And... Who who's the bald guy? <laughs> like, Seng was, um... One of the coolest uh, side characters, I think. I don't, I wish, I think I wish Reno and Rude, Rude, yeah, that's it. Reno and Rude had a game. They probably could have made that game. Honestly, I feel like, um, that could have been what Crisis Core turned out to be. Like, Crisis Core followed, um, Zack. Um, but instead, why couldn't they have followed the side story of the Turks? With Reno, Rude, and Seng. Like, it just makes sense. In my opinion. So, like, Cloud, Tiffa, Barrett. Um. <clears throat> Yuffie. Vincent. At Sith. Eight Sith. Um. Sid. I already said Vincent. I think there were like 9 or 10 characters overall. Or Eris as well. Um, yeah. I wonder what we'll get to by the end of this stream. We've been going for only 45 minutes. There's still a whole lot of stream to go. Top 5 in Final Fantasy 7, Yuffie, Red, Reno, Sid, and Aerith. Okay, so Yuffie, Yuffie, Red are my top 2 too. Reno, interesting choice for 3. Sid, 4. I, I, I can't put Sid that high because he be, he beats up on a, a woman. Like, it's just facts. Aerith, yeah. Yeah. So other than um, Sid being so high, like, that's a very agreeable list. Reno, I, I felt like... He wasn't um, the most interesting of the of the Turks. I always felt it was uh, Tseng. Tseng and his relationship with uh, Aerith. I thought that was very weird. Like, interesting weird. Because you can tell that Aerith doesn't hate them. But, or does she hate them? I can't recall. Barrett's, uh, having a rant. Seeing was the mysterious one. Yep. That's why, like, um... Like, people say that, like, this is an overrated game. I feel like this game, it just has multiple set pieces. Like, 
set scenes that are just iconic. Rude to me was the fun one. Rude was bold. Rude was like the silent bold one that, like the enforced, like, Rude, I'm a tough guy. It's like, yeah, 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 we get it, but we need a bit more for character, um, characterization purposes. But, yeah. Clad was the, um, the mummy's boy. Um, like, you know, wanted to get an older girlfriend to take care of him. Like, ew. What the fuck? Very Japanese, though. That mindset. Very Japanese. Cloud was a bitch. Cloud was not alpha. He's also a liar. He's an amnesiac liar. That's alright, it's appropriate. <laughs> that's that's another big thing. He was like going on like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I'm Cloud Strife. I'm you know, soldier first class. And like, nah, you were just a Shinra soldier. <laughs> Was he a felon? I guess like by impersonating a, a soldier he would be. But if he did like an actual crime, if he did crimes. Right. He freaking steals Zack's identity. Yep. And he stole, um, steals the sword as well. Which apparently, you know, after Crisis Core retconned a shit ton of stuff, like that's Angeal's sword. And Angeal had it specially made. I'm like, oh, alright. Okay. Bro blowing up uh, power plants, yep. So Avalanche, Avalanche is, is not like, um, super good people. Because, um, their actions, like, kill people. So, Tifa, Barrett, Cloud, yeah. I also heard that there is a way to wiggle past these two guards. And I'm actually keen to try it because we're right next to a save point, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, breaking into the Shinra Court, yep. We'll come back here later. One of the coolest scenes, um, scenes of the game. I think, um, this is just my opinion, but maybe a lot of people, um, got the wrong impression of Final Fantasy VII because of, um, how much time you were forced to spend in Midgar. And that kind of, like, skewed, like, your perception of what the game was going to be like. But like, once you get out into the open world, it's like, ah, oh, I can breathe again. I can actually breathe. Yep. When that plate fell down, a lot of people got squished. We'll be using extensive saves. Because we don't want to be doing hours of backtracking. Alright. Let's see if I can wiggle past these two clowns. Okay, I, I do just want to see what they're talking about. Now, I'm, I'm certain that I've heard I'm certain. To be fair though, the plate falling was the dickhead president. Yeah, President Shinra. Yep. Yeah. Oh, who is the who is the worst one at Shinra? Do you think? I mean, um, President Shinra was like um, you know, the Emperor Gustav. To Sephiroth's Kafka. Rufus was a dickhead. Big time dickhead. But I felt like he was trying to do the right thing. Hojo. Fuck Hojo. Yeah, Hojo is the worst one. By far, I would say. I never liked Heidegger. Heidegger can suck my dick. 
Scarlet was just in, in over her head, but she was an evil little bitch too. Look, I'm certain that there's a way to wiggle past the guards, so I'm gonna like quickly check online. Final Fantasy Seven. Get past guards? Question mark. Getting past this? Yep. Okay. Okay, someone's got it on a uh, YouTube video, so I might just quickly show it. Oh no no no! They're, oh, they're talking about that. No, no no, that's not what we want. No, I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Back to the game. Now I believe I didn't like Heidegger, uh, Heidinger. But at least he wasn't performing experiments on humans and children. Yeah. Now I believe we can say hi to Johnny here. There's Johnny. No what? No what? A billion? Fucking Johnny. Yeah, what's up with that? Alright. I think if you go there, like, too slowly, then Barrett, like, um, gets pissed off. There we go. Um. If I read the back of the sign, there's graffiti on it, isn't there? I read the sign there we go all right let's let's just get this over with <clears throat> the seventh heaven oh Marlene top three Marlene didn't do nothing wrong just wants to be with Papa Reeve yep Reeve he was um like the um the executive that like is the brain behind Kate Seath, right? Yeah. He was a good man. Not this time. Hmm. Your chest has grown up too, Tifa. Turned into a mighty fine woman. Ah, oh, um, hmm, hmm. All right. Usually, like, there's like a, a whole dating thing, right, where you can um, involve Barrett, Tifa, Aerith, and even Yuffie, I think. But um, yeah, for this playthrough, we'll go with Tifa. She's the ch she's the childhood sweetheart. <laughs> the Barrett date. Oh no. We might be able to make it happen. Yeah, why not? Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm not interested in your stories. You dumb little dumb little live lives oh someone jelly someone jelly hello Marlene you mind if I date your father <gasps> Jesse was a good one too Jesse was okay Jesse was like um it wasn't her fault that you know by making the card it threw uh, the operation off it wasn't really her fault and she didn't deserve to die. <laughs> she didn't deserve to die. Oh, that's a big boy. 